where this airplane stands out from the crowd is when you're coming back into land. Traditional airplanes like the Harrier, when you're coming into Hover Harrier, it's tremendously busy in the cockpit. You've usually got three levers in the, in the Harrier. And coming into the hover, you're permanently jockeying all three of those controls, making small inputs. You can never rest for a second in a Harrier. The beauty about this airplane is that this airplane knows how to hover better than the best Harrier pilot in the world. And uh, from about a mile away, I can just designate a button on, on the, the throttle here. And the airplane will take me into the hover. And then really you as a, a pilot are just consenting, really, and just making sure the airplane decided you're in the right place. This airplane definitely has unique capabilities that we don't have right now. The main headline, if you like, is stealth. Everyone likes to see this as a low observable airplane, and that's the only reason we could buy this airplane is because we don't have that stealth capability. This airplane undeniably has that, and it, it gives us a great deal more access to parts of the world that might be more difficult for us to have access to now if we had the need to go those places. This airplane can go into places without being seen and do its job and be out, out of the way um, long before those nasty more modern generation surface-to-air missile systems and air-to-air -air systems can see us. We don't have a head-up display. A lot of legacy airplanes have a piece of glass in front of you which shows you all your information. Uh, for us, that's all projected inside the helmet. And the advantage of having this projected inside the helmet is that the cameras that project that, we can also use to project other imagery that uh, we have sensors on the airplane that can pick up. So, for example, I can at a push of a button, um, look at a camera which is underneath the airplane and I can actually look under my arm and look through the airplane and what I would see if the airplane wasn't there is projected inside my helmet and I can just look all around me in uh, infrared and I can also look around me in, in the visual spectrum too. I think any test pilot in the world would give his right arm to work on this program. This could be the last manned fighter airplane and to be here now in the developmental stage of this airplane and possibly see the last develop development phase of a fighter airplane, see it into service. Tremendous honor, tremendous privilege. I love my job. I wouldn't trade it for anyone else's, that's for sure.